<laughs> any place for him to wash. So he's just like touching his dick, and now he's touching your food, and his savage unclipped cheese dick. <laughs> Sorry, just Danny popped the scene. Oh, <laughs> look at how annoyed he is. He's watching a Three Stooges episode. He's probably seen a thousand times. What's the cereal? Fruit brute. Uh, yes, fruit, fruit brute. brute. He's eating fruit brute. Look at him laughing. Smiling. And then when he gets the cage over the head, he actually like goes, oh. Like, like he... Oh. <laughs> and he's smoking, too, which is yeah, so disgusting. Smoking. Eating cereal and smoking. And eating cereal. Answer the goddamn phone, Lance. Look at how he looks. This was a pretty good <laughs> This is a great scene in Pulp Fiction, man. God damn. I gotta throw that in again now. The ashtray up there by the fucking cereal. How gross is that? Yeah, he is not, uh, he is pretty gross. <laughs> Funny fucking movie. Uh, yeah, the savage is like, I, I can't even, I can't do it anymore. And then my, my, uh, ex, uh, not wife, girlfriend. Right. There, uh, Melinda. Which one? Thank you. Okay. She, well, yeah, I, I, I consider that the ex. The, the rest weren't really girlfriend things. <laughs> They whatever. don't want to hear that. Yeah, fuck. There's probably a few out there that don't want to hear yeah, that. Yeah, whatever. Fuck them. Oh, Jesus. Fuck them. They were just whatever. <laughs> oh, my God. And uh, they, uh, she uh, was completely against the buffet. Like, any time there was a buffet, she'd be like, nah, I'm not fucking eating at a Buffet's buffet. Buffet's rule. And, and she pointed out a few, like, things as we were sitting there. And I'm like, oh, my God, you're right. You're fucking right. Well, everyone uses their hand eventually. The, yeah, people something just fall somewhere. The, whatever the tongs fall on the floor constantly, and people just pick them up and put them back <laughs> right. in. And 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 it's a five fall. second rule, though. Yeah, but they're, the tongs are falling exactly where a thousand <laughs> shoes from outside are stepping side by side. There they go. That's where your tongs are going. And then the sneeze guard, I don't want to hear it. I've seen people have conversations where spit is flying out of their mouth and landing in the food. Landing right in the fucking food. And then uh, uh, the fingers being touched, they're, they're grabbing things because they can't find the tongs, so they're just grabbing in there. Scratching, itching, picking ears, noses, scratching dicks, and then just having a pisser with the fucking food. Buffets? No! Done. Done with buffets. Haven't though. had a buffet, and I can't tell you how long. I, I don't mind a breakfast buffet because that stuff hasn't been out that long. Um, I won't eat the ones in the deli. No, I, I'll go to the guy that's like cooking omelets. Whoa, yeah. you and go, all right, cook me up something. You here. won't eat at, at a uh, buffet in a deli? I certainly won't. No. They're, they're basically on every corner. Dude, they're terrible. Bunch of hot food. Oh, I'm just waiting for you. <laughs> Who would eat that? No. Oh. I mean, if you're homeless, I understand, but yeah, homeless, really. it's regular fucking people. For the homeless. That. I've had, I've eaten there a couple times. Oh, nerds to that. The food is, <laughs> the food is delish. <laughs> and that goddamn, uh, any, anytime there's soup in a buffet where it's just sitting out there in a tureen, it's in the tureen. We see the crud building yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. The crust is around the thing. And then the ladle also, there's, there's rings of crust around the ladle <laughs> for how low it's getting. <laughs> right, right, right. Do you understand? It's like if like chicken soup has been sitting there all day, and like you got to break through that skin oh, to yeah. get to the soup. Yeah. Oh, the fucking hard skin that's on top of it. It's the like when a load is hardening on your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> you try that to, flex. You try to ignore that that same shit is in your fucking arteries. Oh yeah, right. As long as it's uh, heated nice and hot, it doesn't look like that inside me. Uh, listen to this story, Gennaro Corum. What's up, Gennaro? What's going on, fellas? Hey. In uh, 2005, I was part of the 26th Marine Expeditionary Unit, and uh, we went. We, we made a stop in Dubai. And uh, when you pull into the ports, all the vendors they get all excited because they know you know we've been at sea or we've been in the desert for God knows how long. So they bring all their food there. And uh, this one guy, uh, he had a, a, a gyro cart, and he pulls up. And he, when, when food just smells like body odor, you probably shouldn't eat it. But we all decided, you know, what the hell. And it gave us severe food poisoning. I ended up puking so bad, and and the convulsions from my body ended up <laughs> twisting my testicles. <laughs> wow, really? That yeah, bad? I had I had to lay on the table <laughs> while the doctor pretty much massaged my, uh, my balls. Your balls to back to where they belong in your bag. <laughs> it Wait, was it was probably one of the most painful things in my life. Where was this food start? Where'd you get what cart? This was in Dubai. Oh, right Dubai. Of, oh yeah, yeah. Wow. Dubai is a fucking really uh, he was, uh, he was over there. rich place, too. I'm surprised. Wow. It is. It's, 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 
it's all it's really kind of disgusting over there when you're not in downtown Dubai. United Arab Emirates is where, really where you land, um, yeah. and you know it's, it's it's either really rich or really poor. It's kind of funny. One, one spot in Dubai, you have a KFC. And then right next to it is a DFC, a Dubai fried chicken. Oh well, I bet that's really good. <laughs> so how, it was a good time. How is I hear Dubai is an amazing. Like, that's one place in the Middle East I would go. It's like uh, they said. That, I imagine those sheiks or whoever runs the place is paying off. I think they're going broke though. Mm. Dubai? Yeah. Supposedly like, there's a lot of construction that is. Dude, just, it's the most cons- being but no, no, but, but they're on hold. Yeah, everything's on hold. Just kind of on hold. There's a bunch of shit Two going on there. That. Money's oh. pulling out. They were pouring some money reason. into that place, and then all of a sudden everything not everything, but a lot of yeah, stuff a lot just of things. stopped. The tallest building in the world is there. I want to go into that hotel. What's the name of the hotel, sir? That it's like the tallest building in the world. I don't remember. It's shaped like a sailboat. It's got a tennis court at the top of it. It's just ridiculous. They got way too much money. They have that. If you if you look this up. They they have constructed, in uh, like islands that are in in the in the structure of the earth. Yeah, they we've have, seen that. It's like it, it's incredible over there, and you, and like I said, you're either really rich or really poor. So. I, I see you're going with the name Gennaro. What's the matter, McLean? Uh, too good for you? <laughs> That's my first name, brother. I get that all the time. <laughs> okay. It does look like a right, was, <laughs> That's not the tallest right, building man. in the world, though. No, the tallest that, building in the world is fucking uh, pretty it's, tall. <laughs> it's like no, it's almost. I want to say seventeen hundred feet. It's like almost twice the height of the towers. Really? They, they were a thousand uh, something, twelve hundred with the antenna. <laughs> really? Yeah. You want? All right. Oh there's God. two more stories, and then we'll move on. Mike in New York talking about, I guess, vendors. Mike, what up? Mike. Mike. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I saw a homeless guy one time in one of those fountains in Midtown, and then it was one of the uh, the street vendors right outside of that fountain. And after the homeless guy was done taking his little bath and whatever, washing up, the street vendor turns around with his little coffee pot, dips it into the water, and pours it thing to make his coffee for the day. So no fucking was, uh, way. A little nasty. <laughs> no way. He took the water from the, the fountain. The water out of the fountain that the, the homeless guy coffee. was just bathing in and uh, made, uh, you know, all the uh, Midtown corporate gentlemen's... Uh, coffee for the yeah, day. you got to be <laughs> fucking crazy to, to, to <laughs> Is that eat driving one of those there? places. That drives you nuts? You see the guys that, like, d- dude, there's a line down the block for these guys that are just some kind of monkey meat is on the, the grill, and they're flailing around with the spatulas. It smells good, though, doesn't it, when you oh, walk by those places? It's I'm lamb. Sure. It's yeah. the best. Yeah. Oh, it's lamb. Gyros, gyros, gyros. However the fuck you say it. Is it lamb? Gyros. It's, yeah. it's fantastic. Yeah. How do you know? I eat it all the time. Oh, Exactly. Christ. Look at you. It's five bucks. It's lamb over rice. Fucking m- macaque. That's good. It's macaque meat. Macaque. Uh, Cameron in Tennessee. What's up, Bonnie? Hey. Happy birthday, Yimmy. Hi, Cameron. Hey, uh, yeah, I just got back from Iraq. Uh, I was up in Mosul, and uh, these guys, they bring out this uh, platter with rice and this boiled chicken and probably rat shit in there. <laughs> and, and these guys, like, they just eat with their hands. They just dip their hands in this rice and then pull the chicken off with their, their shit hands. And they fucking they they want me to eat it. I'm what? sitting there. And, uh, <laughs> Holy and like, shit! I got I got dysentery twice from those cocksuckers. Like they're doing <laughs> you a favor, man. Like they're doing you a fucking favor. Here you go. Eat from yeah. my shit hand that I wipe my ass with. <laughs> my, m- m- Jonathan, my manager, went to uh, it was somewhere in I want to say Timbuktu, Africa. Of course. And he went there with a friend, and he co- he showed me a photo. Where it, it might have been Ethiopia, actually. Actually, oh, it might have been Ethiopia. There. <laughs> where the guy, the outdoor guy selling meat, they were selling it, and he said, There's flies, and you could see the guy with a machete, and there's a slab of horrible looking meat laid out, and there's flies on it. Of course. And he ate it. He <laughs> fucking ate it. 